At the T-minus 31 second mark, Endeavour's onboard computers will have control of vehicle functions. Just seconds before launch, thousands of, gallon of gallons of water will be dumped on the launch platform to help suppress the sound and shock. 25. Ignition and liftoff of Endeavour on the 71st flight of the Space Shuttle on a multifaceted mission. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavour. Roger, roll, Endeavour. Endeavour completes the roll to place the shuttle and cuts down the wing's water position for the open half minute round of orbit. Five seconds into the flight, Endeavour's three liquid fuel main engines begin to throttle back in a two-step fashion to 67% of rated performance. That will dampen the stress on the shuttle's aero surfaces as it breaks through the sound barrier. Fifty-five seconds into the flight, Endeavour passes through the sound barrier. The main engines begin to rev back up to full throttle. All of the engines performing normally, along with Endeavour's three power-producing fuel cells and three hydraulic power units. Endeavour, go at throttle up. Endeavour, go at throttle up. Throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Dave Walker. He's joined on the flight deck by pilot Ken Cockrell, flight engineer Jim Newman, and payload commander Jim Voss, mission specialist Mike Gernhardt, seated alone down on the mid-deck. One minute, 35 seconds into the flight. Endeavour more than 88,000 feet in altitude, traveling more than 3,000 feet per second, already 13 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center on a due east trajectory. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, 15 seconds away from solid rocket booster separation. That will be confirmed by the booster officer here in Mission Control. Endeavour now 155,000 feet in altitude, more than 26 and a half miles downrange. Booster officer confirms a good solid rocket booster separation. Endeavour, performance nominal. Endeavour, Roger. Spacecraft communicator Eileen Collins indicating a perfect ride this morning on the solid rocket boosters. 